sleeveless thing showing the cleavage or showing the shoulders also showing our skin because we think that we are wow is it comfortable it's so low on the floor is it comfortable yes <laughs> maybe it's a little harder your friend and welcome back to my channel it's been a minute since we had like a one-on-one -on -one, and i'm so excited about today's episode it is about culture shock okay i've been wanting to do a series of this episode for a while and i'm so glad that this is first one and we've got someone very very special today to help us share on this culture shock episode and her name is Akemi yes Akemi that's right Akemi <laughs> Akemi Akemi Chan yeah yay okay now can you tell us about yourself okay <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. So my people probably don't understand what you're saying. Uh, can you try that again? Maybe in English? English? Yeah. It's okay. English. I think English is okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. You speak Portuguese as well. Yeah. Can you try that in Portuguese? That was, okay. that was, that was nice in Japanese. What do you think? Let's try it. Oi, meu nome é Lisa Kemi. Eu sou estudante de if that's not sexy, I don't know what it is. I absolutely love Portuguese. So when I came here, I found out that there are a lot of Brazilian people here and they speak Portuguese. It's so sexy. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's sexy. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't deal with Japanese and with, with Portuguese. It's so sexy. But okay, let's try it for my people, for my family in English. Okay. Yeah? Tell us about yourself in English. Hi, my name is Liz Akemi. I'm born in Brazil. I live in Japan for like six, five, eight, five, fifteen years. Fifteen years? Really? <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so you were born in Brazil. Yeah. You're living in Japan for fifteen years. Is it five, fifteen, fifteen years? How old were you when you came to Japan? I came here when I was five years old. Five years old. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I do have a question. Why do you look Japanese? I want to know too. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't know. Okay, so are you 100% uh, Brazilian? Not 100%. Mm, not 100%. Yes, okay. My father is like a half of Japanese. Ah, yeah. okay. So your, your father is half Japanese, half Brazilian? Yes. And your mother is 100% Brazilian? Yes, 100%. Ah, okay, so that's why she looks Japanese. And um, so she's been here for 15 years. She was just about f five years old. So uh, my son is four. So wow, that's a very long time. Yes. Um, that's a long time. And what do you do right now? Do you work? Do you go to school? Um, what do you do? What do you do? I'm going to the university. University? Yes. I'm learning English. So I'm doing my best right now. <laughs> Trust me guys, for a native English speaker, it might not be the best English there is. Yeah. Uh, in terms of fluency though, your English is good, the grammar is good, it, it's just the fluency. But for obvious reasons, you need to understand, very few people speak English in Japan, especially in the rural areas where I stay. Yes, rural areas. Apparently, I stay in the rural areas. What do you mean? That's what I said. When I applied and they said, we're going to put you in the rural areas, I said, no, I don't want to stay in the rural areas, right? I don't, I don't even stay in the rural areas yeah. in South Africa. But get this, I Google, uh, it's a Saki city, yes. I don't see rural, right? You're probably confused because you don't know what I'm talking about. But here's the thing, back in South Africa, rural means rural. It means probably, um, there's probably not um, a lot of access or much access to the internet to um, or it's not so good to water um, to to electricity um, you know shops are very far from where you are you have to take a bus sometimes or a taxi and it takes it you know but this place looks better <laughs> than really? the urban area <laughs> the urban area where I used to stay and they call it rural area <laughs> Man, you gotta love Japan. You really have to love Japan. I'm gonna go around this, the, the, my street or a couple of streets and show you Japanese rural. 
crazy stuff. Still about a block away from a house. Come, this is a 7 Eleven, a convenience store, which is literally what 200 meters from our house. So, we've been walking for probably three minutes now, slowly with the kids. Yeah, the car is getting a wash. We have, yeah, a home center right there. You can get garden stuff as well. And there's like a yeah. place. And, 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 and we cannot buy McDonald's. Today we cannot buy McDonald's. Yeah, but I don't bong, bong. I don't need <laughs> Let's go. Like a shopping center. A walk away, really. A school right there. And this took us three minutes to get here. And because I'm walking with kids. So I'm walking really. Right. That's like a whole other section and houses on this side. We're all self service petrol garages and we've got a laundromat. All of this is still within my 250 meter radius. I am walking back home right now. Right, and there is a restaurant, another one, two of them actually, right there got something and we are going back home a back home how pretty are these trees like so nice I love those Japanese type trees check them out I should have taken this in the afternoon and it's nice and bright Ooh, we got to Japan I quickly noticed that women don't show their cleavage show a lot of cleavage, you know. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that we are gifted and Asian women, mm, not so much, <laughs> not so much, not so much. Um, Asian women, uh, um, I think it's in the genes. They don't yeah. have much cleavage I to so. deal with. <laughs> I don't, I, they definitely don't. In fact, I struggle to find bra sizes here in Japan. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently my, 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 my cleavage is quite big for Japanese, but in South Africa, it's, it's in the normal side, it's not really big. Yeah, and someone's like, you've got a big oh. cleavage. I'm like, what? Me? me? You should <laughs> see my sisters back in South Africa, it's crazy, right? But anyway, I noticed they don't show, I don't know if it has to do with, you know, the size, but I don't think so, I don't think so. Um, I barely, I've never seen a Japanese woman wearing... You know a boob tube, like a top without, um, you know, uh, anything here on top. I've never seen a Japanese woman wearing even a sleeveless top, like a vest. You know, when it's hot and it gets really hot in Japan, it's it's nice to just walk around. You know, like what I'm wearing. I haven't seen at work or even in the mall, even with the younger kids, I haven't seen anyone wearing like a sleeveless thing, showing their cleavage or showing their shoulders. Is it is it a thing? Is it in my head or? I think it is because we really care about our body because we think that we are not too skinny to show our our skin. Wait, skinny as in thin? Yeah, thin. You don't think you're thin enough to? We don't have. We don't want to show our our um, flesh, maybe skin. Yes. yes. Because you think you, you don't think it looks good, or you think yeah. you're too. Oh, interesting. You don't think, look, you don't think it looks good. Yeah. Wow, that is some interesting thing. We, we think we are fat. <laughs> oh my goodness, they think they're fat. That is the funniest thing I have heard since I got here. So we, wow. um, I'm not too skinny. Yeah. But um, many Japanese people uh -huh. are very strict about. Uh, our body. Oh wow! So we don't want to be fat. Oh, and okay. we, we really care about to show our skin because we think that we are fat. Wow! So it has to do with uh, body conscious. Body conscious. I think that's the word. Um, I apologize in advance. If that's not the right um, phrase to use. But this is crazy because Japan or Asia has. Oh, Japan actually has to be, I'm not sure if it is the 
country with the lowest or but it's definitely you know in that list yeah. where you have the list people who are obese in in japan i i, I barely ever run into someone who is big yeah they think that they're they're fat i don't know and about the cleavage and the cleavage yeah yeah, improper. And okay. they're wow. embarrassed about showing, showing the yes. cleavage. So they think it's improper. Okay, actually, that's actually <laughs> wow, messed up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think we're proper for Japan now. Okay, but here's what I don't get no vest, no showing shoulders, no showing cleavage. Because maybe the, the cleavage because it's improper. But you guys wear shorts. Yes. And I'm talking about short shorts, like really. <laughs> Sure, sure. The legs, it are okay. How how does how how how's that? Actually, I don't know why, but it's not okay. okay. <laughs> it's so funny. But it's crazy. It's about the age too. Yeah, yeah. So maybe um, shorts yeah. are most for uh, young people in Japan. So not like me. No, you are young. <laughs> <laughs> You're really young, you know? <laughs> She's consoling me. <laughs> that is that is interesting. So that is interesting. Just thought you should know. If you're coming to Japan, um, it, but Tokyo might be a little bit different. You might run into people that are, have their shoulders off, and, but it's mostly probably going to be foreigners more than Japanese people. Not saying Japanese people are not gonna wear, but it's very unlikely. Um, you might have noticed that they would usually wear like if they wear like a a sleeveless thing or a strap, they wear like a, a short sleeve shirt yes. inside. Wow, so interesting. But shorts are okay. Got that? Okay. So. <laughs> All right, now moving on to it's the very thing. inappropriate to just get in the house and keep your shoes. Yeah. Why? I think mm, it's just our tradition uh -huh. from when we were ago. Yeah. But we have tatami in our house. Tatami? Yes. Ah, uh, tatami, that is um, like a a mat, like I did that on my other episode actually, the, both the ganko and the tatami mat, uh, very similar to in our tradition, in my culture, back in South Africa, the venda culture, the venda. we have the same mat, you guys call it tatami, I promise you, but we call it tomo, tomo, very good, you said it so well, perfect, did you hear that, can you drop me again, say it again, tatami, tomo, tomo, ah, tomo, okay, tomo. so, you guys usually sit on the floor. Yes, we sit on the, the tatami. Floor and we um, to the, today we have a bed, but uh, uh, our bed mm -hmm. sleeping like, bed, sleeping uh -huh. bed. Uh -huh. But we also can use uh, mattress. Mattress. Or mattress. What do you call futon? it? Futon. Futon. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stone on the floor, so uh -huh. we have to keep the floor clean. Ah, and I think it is okay. because we take our shoes. Ah, so you take off your shoes because first of all, you usually sit on the tatami yeah. and you want it to be clean, and you sleep on the futon, which yeah. looks like a mattress and not and it doesn't really. So it looks like just a mattress without a, a base. Yeah. And some people still use that. Yes. Yeah, to today. Is it comfortable? It's so low on the floor. Is it comfortable? Yeah. It's, <laughs> maybe it's a little harder, right? <laughs> But is it because of tradition that people still use it? Yes, tradition is, is normal. Wow. I think I'm, I'm convinced that Japanese people are down to earth. Literally, <laughs> because they sit down when they eat. They basically, it's almost like sleeping on the floor when you're sleeping yeah. on the guitar. And I've noticed, even with their chairs, right? Yes. Um, some dining chairs don't have legs. They yeah. Have, on the floor, right? Yeah, still on the floor. <laughs> so uh, I'm convinced. Japanese people are down to Get it? <laughs> okay, so up to the next one. Um, there, I noticed, I actually saw this on YouTube before I came here, just trying to find out about Japanese people, and they mentioned that Japanese people avoid confrontation. Confrontation. You know, I come in and I'm like, girl, I didn't like the way you spoke to me over there. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Why did you do that? I don't like it. <laughs> did you see how 
know what she got. She knows it's just a recording. But literally, I have never come across people having a confrontation yeah. at work or even with small things. Like they are, they avoid confrontation. They they don't want to be rude. Um, even if you ask something, yeah. it's not like no, I can't do that. No thanks. I've never had anyone say no to me. A Japanese person say no directly, or I didn't like that, or what are you doing? Uh, it's like uh, TD. Um, maybe, maybe you can try. <laughs> you know, um, or they'll say, um, you know, in Japan, um, we would usually um, do it like this. You know, um, is it okay? You know, yeah. it's so strange. And I'm like, You know, you kind of have to learn to read between the lines because they're just not going to be rude um, to you or to anyone, not even to yes. each other. And it's so quiet, even in the neighborhood. I have never heard people arguing. They are, I think they are thinking that it's not good to make you feel bad hmm. or make you think you they are not a good person. Wow. If, he, if they... Uh, tell you a lot that this is not good or so if he, they tell you like that yeah they think that maybe you you not like <laughs> wow interesting so they want to be like you guys want to be like yes wow that is so interesting something that we don't really care much about honestly in South Africa uh, you like me you like me you don't like me you don't like me who cares <laughs> it matters what the public sees and what the public thinks uh, about you. Wow, so interesting. Which makes it very difficult to know what a Japanese person is really thinking about you because then everybody's so nice and so kind. How do you do? You, uh, can you tell if someone doesn't like you? I don't know. Yeah. Anime. What is anime? Anime is like cartoon in Japanese. Ah, okay. So we call them cartoons and they call them anime. From animation now okay you wondering what does that have anything to do with anything it has to do with everything <laughs> and I'll tell you why so I got to Japan and there's anime everywhere yes I went to the bank and the ATM has got cartoons around <laughs> outside <laughs> cartoons the bank the place where they keep money the brooches so this is the bank This is a bank something. They showed me designs. I had to choose a design for a bank card. And they literally had one with cartoons. And this is my first day here in Isisaki. And they're like, do you want this card? What do you mean? This is this is cartoons. They're like, yeah, design. I'm like, I had to ask the translator because I wasn't sure if I understood what they were saying. But I chose it because I thought, no, I really need to see this card. And they literally gave me a bank card with cartoons on it. I'm an a whole adult. And this is my bank card. My ATM card. I'm gonna withdraw with this if you don't believe it. It's real. It's a proper cash card. And more anime. Anime. Everywhere is anime. Crazy. So if you don't believe this is my card, this is really my card. Watch this. It's really my bank card. Yeah. And we got yeah. Um, you know what? I... But isn't cute? <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> it just doesn't look serious, you know. I don't know. When I think money, I think serious business. When you put a yeah. Tuesday, I don't know. It's crazy, but very interesting. It's like a promotion for the bank. And in Japan, we have forty-seven prefectures. Yeah, prefectures are like provinces, like in um, South Africa and in the States, I think it would be a state, I'm not sure. I tend to be corrected about America, but in South Africa it would be provinces, so they have 47. Uh -huh. yes. And each prefecture, mm -hmm. they have their own original characters. 
they have a cartoon character for each prefecture. Yes. Is Saitama in Gonma too? Oh, Gonma chan! Yes! Yeah, we have a little Gonma chan. So cute. It's like orange. Wow. Okay. And you would find this character in documents, like official papers, like serious stuff, guys, like at the municipality. <laughs> it's like this stuff is on the papers. Wow. This is their originality. The Japanese originality. And yes. So it's not just in banks, it's in it's everywhere. Yes. To make it wow. individual. Like. Wow, to make it stand out too. It makes yeah. um yeah, wow, that is so interesting. Hmm. Come to Japan and you can be a kid again. <laughs> wow. And, and I have wow. a lot of manga in my house. Manga, what is manga? Yeah. Uh, manga. What I've noticed something also with Japanese anime, um, the ones that originate from anime, most of them they have big eyes. Yeah. Yes. Which is usually the opposite of you know Western <laughs> cartoons. They have small eyes or normal looking eyes. Is is that a Japanese thing? Is it, is it manga a Japanese thing only, or is it an Asian thing? Just Japanese. I think because Japanese. Have small eyes. They have small eyes, yeah. And I think they want to be a big eye. <laughs> oh, so it's fantasy, right? Oh my goodness, <laughs> interesting. So because Japanese people have small eyes, it's their fantasy to have big eyes. Yeah. So they put it in their cartoons, they, manga. Yeah. Wow. And anime. Wow, that is so cool. Interesting. It's more wow. attractive for them. Wow, for big eyes. Yes, big eyes and very attractive. Do you like my big eyes? I really like them. Hey! <laughs> hey! Guys! Come to Asia, okay? Come to Asia. If you got the African eyes, they should be big. Come to Asia, okay? They're gonna find you interesting. And she likes my eyes. Yeah. Which is so interesting. You speak about the eyes because one, the most, the surgery, you know surgery? Plastic surgery. Yes. The plastic surgery that's done the most in Japan or in Asia has to do with the eyes. Yeah, because you know this is mine. Yeah, but you have it. You yeah, have it. I have it, but most Japanese don't have this line. Yeah, this line. You see this eyelet that sort of you know shows where your eyeball goes in. Most Japanese people don't have that. I know. You're thinking, what are you talking about? Google it. <laughs> Google this thing, and they call it the double eyelid. So we we are we. They say we have double eyelids. Google that. And with Asia or Japan and watch they they don't have this so they have plastic surgery to get this yes, folding get this. and also we have um, like eye tape eye tape yes to put on on our eye what does to, that do to make double line whoa okay <laughs> so the eye would not have that and then you put a tape and it would create an eye yes Wow, that is interesting stuff, guys. That is some serious, serious stuff. I I didn't even notice. I'm gonna check it in the stores. Then wow, interesting. Just anywhere. Anywhere. Oh, because it's pretty popular. Yes. Wow. 